Hey, welcome back to Digimon World Redigitized Deco. Uh, apparently this area is called Binary Castle Phase 1, so, so we're, we're doing a cinematic universe now. Alright, let's see how we do. This is not deja vu. Don't touch that dial. Everything's perfectly fine. I'm just... An idiot who had to spend the entirety of last video uh, grinding. I think the reason things turned out so poorly last time is because this specific Agrijag, we trained uh, his intelligence, his brain stat, a lot. Here's the thing that's the one stat that doesn't really affect combat in any meaningful way. Like, sure, it makes him able to understand our commands better, but it doesn't make him take less damage and it doesn't make him do more damage. So, it doesn't really help us in the long run. So I think our emphasis on brains was misplaced. Uh, next time we'll just go for like a literal glass cannon, or maybe just a tank. With enough health items, it doesn't really matter how long a fight lasts, right? Like, we, we could just go full tanky. I also don't think we have the best move set, but I don't really know how to. You can't just force a Digimon to learn moves. It's not like Pokemon where you can go to the move tutor or use a TM. New moves just sort of happen in this game. All right, that only took five minutes. And the real testament to our new defensive abilities will be whether or not we can actually take on the Vedamons in the next room. Oh no, this time around, it's just an Andromon who doesn't even- okay, there's a Vedamon. This is just an item. We're getting into a fight with this Vedamon over an item. Uh, and he just ignored us after that, okay. I guess he didn't really want that mushroom after all. Run for it. Oh, okay. We aren't aliens, we're Digimon. Well, I mean, Digimon is an alien. Like, they're from another... Interdimensional beings are still aliens. Change my mind. Uh, you know what? He doesn't one-shot us anymore, but he still does a ton of damage, so I'm not even gonna bother with him. Room and an Angelomon. And presumably a switch. There's no reaction. Alright, do we want to go up or right? Uh. Oh, probably up actually, yeah. This, this seems like an important area. Looks like we can't proceed any further. I wonder if something around here is causing the dimensional disturbance. Let's investigate this area a little more closely. I guess we're going right. Huh. Alright, I found it. Now hand over that garbage data. I will never hand it over. I will protect this place at all... At all what? At all what? You didn't finish your sentence! Ow, oh, you're late, Ty. Well, whatever. Let's go and kick his ass. I know of the power this place holds. A person must be chosen to wield this enormous power. You guys worthy of that? I've been guarding this place to find out. I'll put your worth to the test. I think one of my favorite things about Digimon is just gun. Right, like, like Pokemon doesn't have gun. It's very silly. That did not do a lot of damage to me, actually.
You want a buff? Now I'm gonna do the all Guys, nothing but a punk. Like, we can break him out of doing his really strong move, which is handy. Uh, that's if we don't just stand around and take it. This is very weird. If I'd known that we would be doing, like, a mirror match with Mac Algamon. I would not have gone with Mac Algamon. I mean, I didn't choose to in the first place, so. If I were to help the weakest of the weak, I think I can entrust you with it. Okay, bye. Memorial Stole of Binary Castle has been restored. Alright. Was that like the boss fight of this area? Because he wasn't very strong. More data, more mail. My mind is accelerating within the digital world. The organ for speech cannot keep up. This body can only howl utterances like a pathetic beast. I must evolve as a means of communication as well as for the sublime purpose of control and destruction. I must take on a new form. That doesn't sound very good. Phew, that was a tough nut to crack. Anyway, now we have all the garbage data. Where the hell is Murray at a time like this? She's still around here, isn't she? The sooner we can find out, the better. I don't want to stay here much longer. This place feels weird. Alright, you, you do that, buddy. Yelzamon has been unlocked. Uh, and more mail. Just, just all the mail. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't really care about fighting the cast of Digimon Adventure. Oh, another cutscene. Who'd have guessed? Dr. Petrov, Vidium. What's going on? Vidium, I'm responsible for bringing you into this world. Forgive me, it's the only way. Selfish being. What? What did you say? Vidium came to understand human language. Why is this a surprise to people? It's a Digimon. Like, yes, it's an artificial Digimon that breaks all the rules, but it's still like... Wow, this thing that's constantly evolving and is like loosely based on these digital life forms that can speak and understand human language and take in information can also speak and understand human language and take in information. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's supposed to be a serious moment, but just the smash cut to him and Rise Greymon just lying on the ground is very humorous. Dad! We'll explain later, Nico. Calm down. First, we have to defend ourselves. You son of a bitch! How dare you do this to my dad? Hey, can we watch our language here? This is a family-friendly program. Oh no! Such power! Ty, watch out! It's coming after you next! Really? I couldn't tell. Alright, buff. Buff, my child, and I'll feed you an Aerie disc so you just keep healing. That's a decent amount of damage. Not the worst. That was a lot of damage. Okay! 
such power. There are only a few left, but there's no other way. Vidium, eat this. Now, this time we're going to stop you. Quick, Ty, this is our chance to corner him. Okay. He still looks so goofy. He reminds me of Shin Godzilla when he's still like a baby. Alright, come on, one more buff and then we can start energy balling him in the face. There we go. So that first fight was just a pointless cutscene where we're supposed to lose and then five seconds later we just fight him again. What's the point of that? I guess we had to run away and regroup, that's different, but that was just a waste of time. And also like, some resources. that up. He's almost dead. Okay. Great. Another mysterious digging for That's nice. Oh, our deco level finally went up. We're level 13. I think we can actually do some Megas now that we're level 13. I think we got it. Yep, he doesn't look happy. Nope, he's escaping. You won't escape. He, he, he's literally just going to escape. Wait, Murray. Why? Why? What, what, why, why did you not let her go after him? Murray can handle herself. Medium is gone. We don't know where it went because Nico stopped her. Please take a look at my dad. Okay, she's not a doctor. She's not going to be able to help any more than any other one of us. He got hit by Vidium. We have to get him somewhere where he can be treated immediately. Right, I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I'm taking my father to Gigi-mon's house. I don't think I can do it alone. I need your help. Sorry for stopping you. Once my dad is fit enough to speak, we'll hear all the details at Gigi-mon's house. Dad, are you okay? We're gonna get you out of here. And they just leave me here. Okay. Now, now, wait a second. Wait a minute. If if it only took the two of them to get his dad back, why did he ask Murray to not go after Vidium so she could help take this game sometimes, I swear. For that, I was <laughs> not expecting to run into Mirage Gaugamon just all of a sudden. I wonder if we can get burst mode. Pursue the ultimate speed to the end, also needs high attack power. As a loyal warrior, make sure to keep discipline at a high. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. I also like how the, uh, the award is the ultimate award because it's just straight translated from Japanese. Where the final level is ultimate and not mega. 
because in English, Ultimate is the second to last level, and then Mega. It's, this is a very complicated franchise, okay? Our stats don't look that much different than before. Maybe a little better. We no longer have the energy ball. We do have wind shoes. I don't want wind shoes. Yo! There you are, Ty. Everyone's here already. Please, tell us the whole story, Dad. Alright. I'm sorry for getting all of you involved in this. I'll try to explain what happened to me, and to this world. An engineer for Gigo, the program I'm in charge of developing is... video. It was discovered by chance. Originally, it served a different purpose. It was a program to connect the real and digital world to exchange data between them. Even though, deep down, I was aware of its uncontrollable nature, I argued that the concerns about using Vidium were unfounded. Even so, Gigo's upper management overruled me. They believed that if Vidium were to evolve as a life form, it would threaten the real world. The time was running out. I assembled the digitizing program on my own and physically entered the digital world. But when I used the program, I was too close to Vidium and garbage data mixed into my consciousness. It made me unstable, and I ended up under Vidium's control. Thanks to all of you, I am back to my old self again. But Vidium has become too powerful. I'm afraid it's too late to stop it. Being in this world is too dangerous. Everyone, please go back to the real world. You should be able to go back using a program that I have prepared. If we use it, we will be able to return to our world? It's ready. I've completed the redigitized program. But if we leave this world now. Dad, you can't be serious. If what you're talking about is just selfish. You don't understand how we feel. That's not redigitizing at all. It's just running away. I'm pretty sure it is redigitizing. Don't let us down like this. Let's fight together. Nico. That thing you used to weaken Vidium, it seems to be similar to the redigitized program. Uh. Incredible, so you even figured that out. It is, as you said, the program I used to stop Vidium. It's based on the gospel structure. We can restore the missing part, the program will be complete. Not as the redigitized program, but as the gospel structure. If we use the gospel structure, we can stop Vidium. Mm. What? Indeed, with the program Array made, you guys were able to come to this world. And unlike myself, you all made it here alright. Maybe you can do it. The missing piece is called Garbage Data 00. If we need Data 0 for processing. In other words, the limit of the function. Once you have it, restoring the gospel structure should be easy for you, Murray. Since it's a piece of garbage data, it may have ended up in a memorial stella. The story got a little complicated towards the end, but... It, like, means we have to look for the last of the garbage data, right? Well, in that case, we have no choice. I'm sure we can do it. <sighs> I have no objection. Naturally, any mismanagement at Gigo is my responsibility. So, shall we start looking for the memorial, Stella? If anything happens, message me. Let's start searching. Okay. Look, the sky! What's up with that sky? What the hell is going on? Vidium. I don't know why, but anytime I see the word Vidium, it makes you want to say it like Venom. Is it meddling with this fabric of space from somewhere? At any rate, it's clear that time is running out. Let's hurry before the whole world falls apart. Okay, um, that could have, that didn't need to be like a whole thing. I probably would have noticed the sky collapsing in on itself. Oh, where do we want to go? Like, we've been everywhere, so it's just checking everywhere again. I guess the railroad planes are probably the fastest one to get to. 
Checking the forest, it appears there is a need to find the remaining garbage data as soon as possible. I will be investigating the signpost forest. Perhaps the area around the memorial stella would be the best place to start. Please meet up with me if you are not busy. Media, okay. And going to the plains from Akiho. What a huge mess this has turned out to be. We need to find the rest of the garbage data quick. Did you turn and I are going to check out the railroad plains? Should we get started with the area around the memorial? That's literally what I was doing. Thank you, game. I definitely needed my handheld again. Digital World Emergency from Gijiwan. SOS File Island is in trouble. No, the entire digital world is experiencing a state of emergency. It must be Vidium's influence. Extremely powerful Digimon are appearing all over the place. Vidium can manipulate any data in the digital world at will. It seems he's recreating one legendary Digimon after another under his command. All of a sudden, these Digimon using overwhelming skills appeared like this. What's going on to happen to the digital world? Vidium seems to have gained control of the upper control power room in the Digitower. Please defeat it and bring peace to the digital world. Okay, so we're just gonna run into a bunch of really strong and dangerous Digimon. Like that Betamon! Ah, I bet you were thinking I'm just another small fart. Well, I certainly hope so. Okay, yes, he was. I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't one-shot that Betamon. I'm not really seeing any powerful Digimon, which is probably a good thing because if they were to just flood the entire game with powerful Digimon at the game's climax, it would probably make training a bit of a pain. Not that I ever really leave File City when I'm training, but if your training process involved like going to the actual good training areas, it'd be a little difficult. I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna go touch the Stella. Oh, looks like I'm not the only one who had that idea. Hey guys, what's going on? Huh? So you came as well? I guess great minds think alike. Come to think of it, since we were blown into this world, so many things have happened. You remember? At first you were so mean, Nico. You used to say things like, get out, woman. <laughs> I still feel that way, though. And you turned out to be the Nyanko Tamer. You've been very helpful so many times in this world. Then hurry up and beat me. You won't stand a chance all by yourself. Shut up. Well, I guess now's not a good time to be laughing. Okay, can we maybe, like, concentrate on the world ending? Doesn't look like we'll find any clues here after all. In that case, have you received any messages from Yuya? Yeah, I'm gonna go head over there. You guys stay here so I don't have to talk to you anymore. He said he was going to the forest, but... Maybe you should go and ask him if he found any clues there. We'll head that way after we've looked around here a little more. I'm glad this was literally just padding out the game. Like, like, there's not even a boss fight here. It was just we wasted our time going the wrong direction. Yeah. There you are. Who would have thought it would come to this? It's Gigo's successor. I can't leave matters like this unattended. My father, Gigo, I thought they would be more noble. Uh, you can change it. I don't need you to tell me that. Well, let's continue this investigation. I'll examine this area. You can check the others. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna head back to the city and fly somewhere. It's probably faster. But first I wanna change areas, see if we get any mail. I don't like that. Hooray. I have established the structure needed to restore the gospel structure. It is, however, a bit complicated. It appears to be the top price for a tournament being held at the Coliseum. Did you must have found the garbage data in the gravel wasteland? I must have taken it with it. In any event, we need to win this tournament. I shall be waiting for you in the 10th floor lobby. Meet me there when you are ready. Okay, that's neat. That's different. Uh, 10th floor implies it's probably not going to be too difficult. But I guess we'll see. 10th floor is no input, so I guess it is a good thing that we went into brains a little. Alright, Murray. I'm waiting for you. Let's get started then. Uh, okay. Ready when you are. You can register for the tournament at the reception desk. Be sure to win. Uh, I'll do that. Fight for a mysterious item. Okay. Yep. This is extremely riveting gameplay. I am suddenly without something to drink. Uh, I'll be right back. Echo Drag, you got this, right?
Okay, this is an interesting problem to develop. We don't have any MP, really. I guess you naturally regen when you run out, but that's still not great. I want to spend a minute to train up our MP if we don't win this tournament the first time. Okay, we actually won that first fight. That's not so bad. Alright, now can we actually win the next three? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Don't get hit by that again, please. Oh, no, we lost. I guess the answer to that question is no. That was unexpected. Was that really all your strength? Get ready and try again. Okay, thanks. You know, some people are into that sort of thing, but I do not need the game to, like, chastise me for being a loser. Looks like training's back on the menu, boys. Yeah, we have a decent amount of MP. I guess it's just we have really strong moves. Which we can make stronger by actually buffing our attack a decent amount. Alright, I have spent close to a week uh, in-game, not real time, training up Agrajag. Most of his stats are a couple hundred levels higher than they were. Uh, his health is almost twice what it was. But also, he's, he's making that really sad sound where it sounds like he's gonna die soon, so... Uh, I guess we better get him into that Coliseum, but that's gonna have to wait. Till next episode, folks. Uh, I'll see you there.